So hanging a pork leg in your own home, probably not the most realistic choice. But a little bit of salt and a duck breast, and you might just get something close. And lucky for you, that's all you're gonna need. Let's talk about it. Why? Right? Why? Well, first off, because it's cool. Okay? If you're the type of person that's interested in curing your own meat, I feel like this is the perfect place to start. Because it is so, so easy. It's very hands-off. All you need is salt and a duck breast, and you can make it. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I would say if there was a third ingredient, it would basically be patience. And you guys know how I feel about patience. I know we live in a fast-paced world, okay? Listen, let's just have let's just have a combo, just face to face. You know, you and me. Sometimes it's good. Just slow down, smell the flowers, enjoy the little things, like making duck breast prosciutto. It's a tongue. It was a tongue twister. Just trust me, okay? You'll want to make this. Okay, so here's the beauty of this recipe. You don't need a specific kind or size duck breast, although I usually lean towards a single large breast of Mullard or Muscovy duck just for maximal flavor, plus I believe Michael Ruhlman recommends it, so you know. He knows this stuff. You can get duck breasts at lots of grocery stores. You can also get it from a company called D'Artagnan. I'll put a link in the description. And once you have that, you can trim it up a little bit if it's got some odd ends. But other than that, you're good to go. Now all you need is to just pack it in salt. You're going to coat the bottom of a container that's large enough to fit your breast plus a little extra room with a half inch or one centimeter thick layer of kosher salt. Now hold on one second here. Now you can go ahead and just do this with just salt and it'll be absolutely delicious. But if you want to add some aromatics or whole spices, then you would want to do that right here. I added one tablespoon or five grams of pink peppercorns, two teaspoon or three grams of coriander seeds, and three juniper berries. Toasted those bad boys up, crushed them up, and then mixed them in with the salt. And just as a side note, whatever whole spices you choose to use, always, always, always toast them first before you crush them. It's that easy. You can do it with whatever you want, or like I said, forego it entirely. Anyway, lay your duck breast in that salt, and then completely cover your breast with kosher salt and the rest of your uh, aromatics if you chose to put any in there. Now your breast should be completely encased in salt. And when I say completely, I mean completely. Then just cover that with a lid or plastic wrap and let it sit in the fridge for 24 hours. What's gonna happen is the salt is going to draw out a shit ton of liquid from this duck breast and it's gonna absorb a good amount of salt. All good things for properly cured and preserved meat. Now once it's done, it should have darkened quite a lot in color and become firmer to the touch. Rinse that bad boy thoroughly and then pat it nice and dry. Then optionally crack some fresh black pepper on both sides and now we need to hang dry this thing. It sounds difficult, but it's really very easy. Now I've sort of got an easy way to trust this off without having to go through the, you know, more difficult way of tying it. So the way we're gonna do that is by wrapping your duck breast nicely in cheesecloth, then taking a segment of kitchen twine and wrapping it and tying it around the duck breast lengthwise. Make sure to knot that off. Then take three individual segments of twine, tie those around three even intervals along the duck breast. Make sure that this is tight enough to hold the duck breast without it coming undone, but not so tight that you're making it curl in an unnatural way. Then take another long segment of twine and wrap that around that longer lengthwise segment of twine. So it just sort of dangles almost as if you're making a necklace out of the duck breast. Great comparison, right? Then you're gonna use that duck necklace bit to wrap around a bottle or some sort of anchor in your refrigerator so it can properly hang without it touching anything. I did it around a bottle in my fridge on one of the shelves and there was just enough room that it would dangle without hitting the wall. Then just let it hang dry in the refrigerator for 14 to 18 days. Now, ideally you want it to be a bit humid in there so I mean you could add uncovered pans of water every once in a while just to up the humidity a tiny bit, but oftentimes I don't and it turns out just fine. But I also do live in a slightly humid environment so that is something to take in account because it does make a difference in how it dries. And that's it, once that time is up, your duck breast prosciutto is ready and done. Then just slice it as thinly as possible on a bias. Be sure to include that delicious fat on there. And there are so many things that you can do with this. You treat it just like you would prosciutto. You can serve it with a nice little cheese board. You can make a beautiful sandwich out of it. You can do this fancy thing that I did where I put a bunch of fancy stuff on there and made it look really pretty. Or you could just dice it up really fine, crisp it up and put it on top of a nice carbonara. This stuff is so, so, so versatile, and it lasts for quite a while. I would say at least it's gonna last three weeks in your refrigerator if you wrap it super tightly in plastic wrap after that, or put it in some sort of airtight container that is better for the earth. 
Okay, so we can make prosciutto out of duck, but can we make prosciutto out of B-roll? I think you know the answer. guys and that is it so duck prosciutto pretty straightforward you got some duck breast you got some salt you put it together and wham bam take a couple of days off and you got duck breast prosciutto I've made this before and every time it surprises me how insanely good it is it's super umami rich and salty and meaty it, it it's really honestly such a treat whenever you make it and everybody I serve it to loves it so you know there's nothing better than having some thinly sliced duck brush prosciutto with the fat just, just barely melting at room temperature. So when you put it on your tongue, it just melts away into nothingness. Now before I go, don't forget to DM me on Instagram or tweet me or whatever, all of your creations. I love seeing it and you know, I feature it on my Instagram stories. Whenever you do send them in and obviously, you know, follow me there. The links for my Instagram and Twitter and all that jazz are in the description. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.